Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel called Living Our Ascension. You're with me, Shruti Vashisht. So I'm going to be doing a series called uh, Signs of Awakening or Signs of Moving into the Fifth Dimension. Um, and I hope that you'll enjoy it and especially, you know, if you're new to Ascension or you're just curious about my own perspective on the different things that happen when we start moving into the Ascension frequency, when, you know, we start having Ascension symptoms and just the many different things that happen when we start moving into the fifth dimensional vibration. Um, what happens <laughs> so I'm going to be sharing that with you and maybe giving you some tips along the way so yeah I hope that you'll enjoy the series so today we're speaking about why am I suddenly feeling everything <laughs> because this can be uh, a sign that you are moving into the fifth dimension the fact that you are experiencing an awakening and um, yeah so basically if you would like to hear my thoughts on that then keep watching this video and uh, below this video check out different links that I have you can work with me um, personally to accelerate this process and I can personally guide you through it there's even a course that I have that you can study yourself called um, embody the fifth dimensional vibration so check out all of those things below this video <laughs> okay so um, so one of the signs that you're moving into the fifth dimension, the fact that you are experiencing an awakening is that you suddenly start to feel everything. And what is this about what's happening in your body? So basically what happens is that it means that our heart chakra is opening up. Um, and the heart chakra is basically like just like you have a physical heart. Um, there's an energy center that we have throughout our whole body. We have different energy centers. And, uh, you know, these they generate basically our life force and uh, they give us these different qualities and they help our organs to function even. So the heart chakra is related to our inner feeling. And so what's happening, the reason that we start to just feel everything, whether it's the emotions of other people, whether it's our own emotions, whether just, you know, uh, collectively what people are thinking, even thoughts, sometimes it feels like, you know, we are so sensitive to them. The slightest things that happen, um, the noises, sounds, all of it, like it can feel a bit overwhelming. And uh, some people at this time, they, they call themselves, they start calling themselves, uh, I'm a sensitive, other people might find other labels, you know, like I'm an empath or whatever. And, um, you know, those, I don't have anything against them, but what is happening at an even deeper level, more than just you being an empath or something, is something that everybody, every human has access to this. So in, in essence, every human is, a, is an empath if they want to be. Um, and you know we can all choose this path of awakening that is happening within you but it feels like we didn't choose it <laughs> it's just happening to us but at a soul level we did we chose to be here in this lifetime and because you have chosen certain um, you know perhaps you want more equality in the world you want to see more love in the world you want to see more balance in the world and because of these choices because of this feeling in your heart your heart has started to open up and in the beginning, all of the shit comes out. Whatever we are feeling, whatever we had suppressed, our childhood emotions, um, you know, patterns and all of those things related to it. And then we start feeling because we're opening up. <laughs> What's really, what I want to tell you is that, um, you know, it's not just about this um, more um, darker or lower frequencies. What you're opening up to is life. So it's a really good thing. We just have to know how to navigate it. So what you're opening up to is the feeling, um, uh, the feeling side of life, the inner feeling. And when the first thing is that we open up to our own inner feeling inside our heart chakra, it's the heart chakra, the color is green as well. Um, and uh, so we're, that's why I'm wearing green today for you as well <laughs> to sort of bring out that energy. Um, and it basically just helps us to open up to the wisdom of the body so that is the first stage what's happening essentially is that you're opening up to the wisdom of the body and we don't even realize that our body is capable of so much more it's not just about um, 
the functions that we think we can do you know like we can walk we can talk we can use our hands to manipulate things it's not only those physical functions but uh, inside of us we actually feel at a deeper level as well it's not only the five physical senses there's inner senses and those are what are opening up for you if you are experiencing this sort of sensitivity um so the best thing that i can advise to you at this time is that uh, don't hold back from opening up it's a really good thing it's not a bad thing even though you might be feeling overwhelmed at times and uh, especially it can be a bit alienating uh, for people because um they find that many people around them are not feeling this and they are they are they might be initially the only ones that they know but you can you know um f- look out for more body based practices that will help you to connect to your body that will help you master your body so these can be breath work related practices um you know like uh shamanism if if that's what you're drawn to um yoga and um just any like meditation so um these are just some examples but uh, anything that really connects you to your body that you are intuitively just drawn to and can help you to find that balance so one thing that we have to know is that opening up and feeling more is not a bad thing at all your sensitivity in the long run is actually going to serve you but what we eventually what we need to do is we need to open up and um really feel everything that is there but not judge it and um you know at the same time what we what we do is we we open up to feeling more but we also have these tools to protect ourselves so there's energetic tools that help you to energetically protect yourself to be within uh, to know what is your energy where your energy ends and another person's energy begins and it's the same with the environment anything that you're feeling and also even those environmental things that you find too much um you know uh whether it's the sound of traffic <laughs> like i can hear um in the distance or some construction noises or you know just people what are uh, oh, crowded places if you live in a city and stuff like that all of that also we start to find a certain harmony um within that and uh, our own state of balance when when we start working with our own balance and so nature can help you immensely with that tapping into your heart can help you immensely with that with the heart chakra so i teach all of these practices along with like protection tools and stuff uh, in my course so yeah check out that below this video as well So the other thing that I would strongly very very strongly advise is to go out into nature because as I told you the heart chakra the color is green <laughs> so the energy of the heart chakra is all about balance and that is what you're coming into this beautiful harmony with life it's like you know it green is the color of health as well it's the color of radiant health so in the beginning even our issues related to health start to come out issues that we didn't have before so you might find yourself drawn to uh, eating cleaner and lighter foods this will really help you at this time as well um and just go out into nature and open your heart there fully practice opening your heart in nature just breathe into the heart into the center of your chest expand it and um feel what is around because nature will give you access to that more uh pure state and then you will when you open up to that um it helps to also integrate the lower stuff and we start to attune eventually more to the higher stuff too um but we also have to be able to see before that our own emotions and everything that it's showing us but i'll make another video about that about you know inner child work and um our own emotions Okay so I hope that this video was helpful for you. Um I have a free mini guide as well that I'm going to put together so you can find that below this video. Um when it's ready I'll put it down there. That has a uh, um practices it's like a mini course um that that can help you with that balance and give you some tips as well. Um I'll probably have some kind of guided meditations in there as well. So check out that. And um yeah that's it from me I hope that you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions about what you're going through or um just anything um that you need help with let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new um and like this video if you got some wisdom today